up. I've got to ask you, Beyonce cover Jolene. Didn't she? Oh, she did. <laughs> and I loved your post. You said, Beyonce's given that girl some trouble and she deserves it. So what did you make of it? Have you talked to Beyonce since? Oh, I mean, we've sent messages back and forth. Mm. She sent me flowers. I sent her flowers, oh. that kind of stuff. But she took it and did her own version of it. She yes, wasn't she going did. to be humble enough to say me some woman's going to be able to take her man. Right. So she kind of uh, beyonce it up, so to speak. Jolene, 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 Jolene. But I, I, I was so honored that she did the song. And then your goddaughter Miley was on the album as well, Cowboy Carter. I'll be a shotgun rider till the day I die. Did you know about that? Album? I did not know that well, until the album came out. I tell she was just full of surprises with that. Now I the know. ultimate surprise would be having you, Beyonce, and Miley all together on one stage performing Jolene. Well, that would be amazing, wouldn't it? Well, let's make it happen, darling. Well, it could happen. We'll never see. say never. Okay, never we say have, never. We are hanging out here, of course, at the Music City Center in Nashville, Tennessee. You attended the very first CMA Fanfare back in 1972. Flash forward to 2024. You're making your first appearance 13 years later. So how does it feel to be back here and see your biggest pop-up experience? Well, it feels great. I got more stuff now than I had back then. Oh, dolly, you have a <laughs> whole lot more stuff, My booth girl. is bigger. Your booth is way bigger. I mean, it's a store, y'all. Seriously, it is a Dolly Parton store here. It is. It's a pop-up store, and mm -hmm. we have got some of everything in yes. here, all the things that I've been doing all these years since the first fanfare and I'm going to take you around and I'm going to be showing you a bunch of the things we have here. Well, I cannot wait to see it and of course we're already hanging out in the kitchen. There are going to be some pots and pans rattling up in here, right? I know because my sister Rachel and I are very excited. We have a new cookbook right. coming out and it's called Good Looking Cooking and she's a good looking cooker, no <laughs> doubt about it. But I feel like family is always at the forefront of everything that you do. And speaking of just that, I mean, you've got a family album, a docu-series coming out. So what inspired you to want to tell your family story to your fans? And what was maybe something, a little bit of family history that you learned that surprised you most? Well, I've always talked about my family and all their musical heritage. Right. And one of my cousins, my first cousin, my Uncle Lewis's boy, mm -hmm. uh, he's kind of the family historian. Right. And he's also a great writer, singer, plays instruments. So uh, he's put together like this whole tracing or uh, heritage all the way back, you know, right. from, to the UK, the Welch, and all, all the things that we're supposed to have done back then. And we're going to do the docu series, but right now we're supposed to have the album out called Smoky Mountain DNA. And I'm singing with my mom and with my grandpa and uncles that are past, right. and along with a lot of the new and young people, along with Rachel as well. We got a song on there. So I'm very excited about the docu series. It's a four hour docu series, mm -hmm. and uh, then the album. So, yeah, it's all about family this year for sure. You are without a doubt the busiest lady in town, Dolly. You got a laundry list of things you got going on. You've got an orchestra concert project in the works. You've got another children's book. New wine line. I didn't I know did. Dolly was into wine, but she well, is. Well, so. you know what? When you get your brand going, everybody wants you. <laughs> and there's money to be made on everything. And nobody's going to let me get by without making some money. Do it. Because it costs a lot to look this cheap, <laughs> as they say. But I'm very proud of that. You know, so everybody good. has wine. Everybody mm -hmm. usually drinks wine for dinner and special occasions. Yeah. So I thought, well, why not? I know. Wine not. I know. Accolade. <laughs> Wines is the name of the the company that I'm working with. Okay, yeah. cool. Well, then you also have a new musical. You also have, um, let's see, a hotel and a museum in the works. I do. Actually, what? we're going to have a hotel here in Nashville and, uh, and a museum, as you mentioned. And, of course, I'm very excited about the fact that I'm telling my life story to be on Broadway sometime, hopefully in 26. So Incredible. Uh, I need a job. You think you I, might find me a part-time uh, job somewhere? <laughs> Let me see if I can whip up a nine to five for you, girl. <laughs> yeah. Let me see. So can we talk a little bit more about this Broadway musical that you're coming up with? Because you wrote new music for it, but it was also a nod to your first album from 1967, correct? Well, actually, we are going to be able to call it Hello, I'm Dolly. And oh. that was the name of my first album, because right. my real name is Dolly. It sure is. And I guess you can kind of claim name but uh, it's really a it's an original I've, mm -hmm. I've written 60 songs but I don't know if they'll all be in, in the in the play uh -huh. but of course there'll be all the hit songs that people know and how they came to be and the stories behind them but I've written a whole lot of original music so it's not a jukebox okay uh, show it's really I mean, we wouldn't in, be mad at that either depth, though. you know in-depth story about my life from my early early childhood 
from the time I was about five, seven years old, uh -huh. all the way up to now. We can't talk to Dolly without talking some fashion. Well, I know these are some things that, some of these are from my very first variety show, not the one that, out of Hollywood, right. but the one out of Nashville. Uh. That was Lucy Adams, the first gal that ever started making clothes for me here. And of course, that's Bob Mackey right there. Wow. On, uh, on some other things that I was working on. Incredible. So of course, we have to have our little fashion things, but we have some of everything you could imagine. Rock the star books, calendars. The rock star. Because you were a rock star, yeah, baby. I was a rock star for a minute. You're, you will <laughs> always be a rock star. You're the Rock well, and Roll Hall of Fame. Come on now, I doll. know. I'll always be that Yeah. Woman. But anyhow, we have all sorts of wonderful things here. <sighs> of course, our little Billy the Kid book, and he's got his own little doggy house over there where he's going to be taking pictures. Billy has gone famous on us, he's, hasn't he's he? He's about as famous as I am. Oh, look at these, though. Look at these beautiful clothes. These are showstoppers. Yes. <gasps> these are, a lot of these are... This uh, is by Steve. Yeah, Steve did that one. And so we had, good. I think, Tony Chase did that one, and Robert did that one. So they were, uh, you know, I've got some, three of them, the most important designers that Gosh. I've had through the years. Now, when did you film 9 to 5, Dolly? We did that in 80. <gasps> oh, I had such a good time last night. Oh, boy, I tell you, you know, we should do that more often. This was like the and 80s that was, era. Yeah, that was, yeah, when, I, that was probably on one of the big occasions. Oh, my gosh. You know, when we did all that. Well, so you we, know that's coming back, Dolly. Here's my pop. Yeah. What do you think Jennifer about this? Jennifer Aniston, I think it's great. Hopefully, Jane and Lily and I will have a little bit part in that. Wouldn't you, that be great? You have to. And our Dollywood, where we opened up our... A Dolly Parton experience, that'd be me. Yeah, you think? <laughs> this is actually <laughs> our, our new museum up there, and it's really wonderful. A lot of digital uh, things that, you know, through, through that, we don't have a lot of the physical uh, stuff that we will right. have here in the Nashville Museum, but this is done so well, and I was so happy. And of course, How involved are you in, you know, curating your items for things like this or for the upcoming museum? Oh, I spend lots and lots of hours um, making sure that people know what it is. I do the voiceovers and talk right. about and explain where I was, what I was thinking at the time. And I got very emotional when I went through this really? last week because it just, you know, took me back for, yeah. through my whole life. It was actually a wonderful, wonderful thing. But I'm very proud of Dollywood. And all it the is things such we a great there. spot. Yeah. I love we it. We have our Dream More Resort and our new Heart Song uh, Hotel. Girl. And some more, more some more clothes. <laughs> so good. The one of the biggest things that you've done that I feel like all of Tennessee is so proud of you for is the Imagination Library. Do you know that means more to me than almost anything I've done in yeah. my whole career because it's where we give books to children from the time they're born mm -hmm. until they uh, start school and it teaches them to love to read and mm -hmm. gives them confidence and all that. So I'm very, very proud of that whole you're project. A, you're a good woman. I have so many girlfriends whose kids get books. Yeah, to the yeah. Program, so it, it don't cost you nothing. Um, I want you to see my beautiful sister Rachel, the oh. one I wrote the good looking cooking book with. I love hey, it. Hey, get over Rachel. here, good looking. Oh my gosh, look at these two beautiful oh. blondes, y'all. I love it. It just runs in the family. Well, she's our she's our baby and she's our true beauty. Yeah. Although they're all beautiful. I don't think they come any prettier <laughs> on the inside or the outside. Oh. And she cooks good. She cooks real know, good. You wouldn't think it would you? And it's good looking and cooking. Good looking, right? Cooking, I, cooking. How exciting was it to team up with your sister? Sister, yet again for an exciting project that you can release to your fans. We had the best time. It was so much fun to create the cookbook, yeah. to go back and revisit old recipes that we knew a lot about, some that we created along the way, so. and it was awesome. What is one of your favorite family recipes that we'll also see in this cookbook? Well, I guess the family favorite would be the meatloaf. Oh, uh -huh. we all do that we one. All That's a southern it. dish right there, through and through. Um, was Dolly a good taste tester for this oh, cookbook? Oh, absolutely, yes. <laughs> I'm a hog. Inside of me, oh. there's a hog trying to get out. Girl, if that <laughs> is a hog, I'll Not take now. It. I said it's trying to get out. <laughs> but believe me, I, I gained a ton of weight eating the way we like to eat. Now, mm -hmm. this, this cookbook, just so you know, uh, it's got a lot of southern recipes in it, but it's oh. not just a southern cookbook. But Rachel has gathered so many books. I have to say, she did. She did most of the work, and she is the one that can make food look good and taste good. So Mine's good. not always pretty, but oh. it tastes good. Yeah, yeah. So she said, "We got to find a happy medium here now. Yeah. You can't embarrass us here. <laughs> <laughs> We're not gonna embarrass the family now. And you're actually doing cooking demonstrations during CMA Fest, right? I am. I'm gonna be making strawberry shortcake. Oof. 
heaven that's right in there. Book. That's of in course, book. it's in the book. <laughs> and you're going to be on the family album. I am. What song are you singing with Dolly? Uh, I Will Know is a beautiful ballad um, that we sang, and it really turned out great. Actually, Rachel wrote it. Rachel is one of the greatest writers, singers, and guitar players you'll ever, wow. you'll ever meet. She's got the most beautiful voice, so I was really proud to get to sing a little bit of duet with her on it, but we had fun working with all the family, yeah. all the kids coming along. But yeah, so Rachel, you know, she may have her own show one of these days, and if she does, I say, you gotta sing on the show and right? let people just see all of your talents. She not only cooks good, she looks good, and she writes good and she sings good. Incre <laughs> I mean, such an incredibly talented family. Rachel, it was a pleasure meeting you it's today. It's so nice meeting you. I mean, you. she's got so many great Rachels in her life, doesn't Dolly? Yes. Yeah, she's, she's, she's a, a lucky right lady. Here, yeah. yeah, I know. Well. <laughs> well. Do I need to speak to them? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for your time. I can for you. both of you.